Paul Stretch works by using Fast Fourier Transform, or FFT. This is the same algorithm that allows programs like Isotope RX to create a sonogram from a waveform. The full workings of FFT are quite complex, but it's important to understand a few basic principles of the process in order to get the best sounding results from Paul Stretch. The algorithm divides the original file into windowed segments, which are overlapping chunks that contain information about the pitches and intensities within the original file. It's these chunks that are then extended within the time stretching process. This means that window size is a key parameter that affects how the information in the original file is sampled. Smaller window sizes provide greater resolution in time, while larger window sizes provide greater resolution in pitch. This will affect how the output sounds. Smaller window sizes will retain more detail of the morphology or shape of the original sound, while larger window sizes will provide more detail of the spectrum, the pitches. So, you should select the appropriate window size depending on the qualities that you most want to retain within the output sound. Large window sizes will blur the sound into a texture, even at low stretch ratios. The shape or function of the window can also be changed to affect the frequency resolution. Some window shapes, such as rectangular or hamming, provide more detail in terms of discrete frequency bands, but they often result in spectral leakage, which means more noise. Blackman windows can't provide such focused frequency resolution, but they have far less spectral leakage. So, basically, your window shape provides a trade-off between frequency resolution and noise. FFT is a very common audio process, so you'll come across it again and again in lots of different software. Now that you understand the basics of FFT, you're in a position to take advantage of the more advanced features that Paul Stretch has to offer. In the next video, we'll explore the transformations available on the Processes tab.